Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Today is the day that the Lord has made. And I am so glad my sisters and my brothers to always be a part of it and rejoice in it. Today is the day to sing new songs with praise. Today is the day to always glorify Jesus, to always seek him in this kingdom, to always continue to put your faith and your trust in him at all given times. No matter what the circumstances look like, no matter what the situation look like, you always, always need to rely on Jesus. Do not rely on man, and please do not rely on your own understanding. Because if you rely on man, and if you rely on your own understanding, it will not get you nowhere. But when you rely, when you rely, when you rely on Jesus and put your faith and trust in him, he's going to take you to where you need to go. He's going to give you all the help that you need. But my sister, my brother, you got to know one thing, that praise is always necessary. Praise is always necessary. And why praise is necessary? And I'm going to tell you why. Why praise is so necessary. We serve somebody whose name is the highest name of all names. We serve somebody who's the same today, yesterday, and forevermore. We serve somebody who's still on the throne. He's still performing miracles and wonders each and every day. We need to praise him because who he is and what he has done in every last one of our life. You need to praise him because then he paid a price for every last one of us. He died on the cross for every last one of us. He took that punishment and that beating for every last one of us. He carried every last one of his, our sins on his back. That's why you need to praise him. That's why you need to glorify him. That's why you need to shout out his holy name because his name is Jesus. That's why praise is necessary. And we all going to go through things. We all going to face hardships. But in the midst of all, they don't mean nothing. You still got to praise him. Because when you praise Jesus, whoo, glory, hallelujah. Everything that you're going through, what you're facing, it will go straight out the window. Trust and believe. I go through things all the time. But when I know I'm praising Jesus with all my might, and all my, with all my might, my heart and my soul, everything that I'm going through or dealing with or facing, it don't bother me, bother me no more. I don't even think about it. Because praise is what I'm going to do. Seeking him is what I'm going to do. Relying on him is what I'm going to do. Trusting him is what exactly what I'm going to do. Because Jesus is my everything. Nothing else comes before him. Not my wife, not my children, not my job. Nothing comes before Jesus. He is numero uno in my life. That's why I'm in love. That's why I'm in love. That's why I'm in love. That's why I'm in love with Jesus. He is my everything. Glory! Hallelujah. Amen. And today is the day of salvation. And my sister, my brothers, I say this on a daily, daily basis. Nobody knows when their time is going to go. And there's a lot of people right now that's already dead and gone. Wish they had a spliff of a second back just to speak to Jesus, just to ask that one little question. There's a lot of people right now it's in our, laying in that hospital bed right now today. In a coma in a deep sleep, can't even talk right now. Wish they can just go back when everything was fine. And don't think they're going to ask for it's just a spliff of a second back. And that spliff of a second, what do you think they're going to ask? The one thing they're going to ask is, Lord Jesus, I ask of you to come into my life. I want you to be my Lord and Savior Christ. And once you boldly confess that, my sisters and my brothers, right then and there, you're saved, you're born again, your relationship begins with Jesus at the very moment. That's the only thing that Jesus asks out of every last one of his children is a personal relationship. But you, my sister, my brothers, you got to want that relationship just as bad as Jesus wants that relationship with you. And right now, while you still have life, while you still have a voice, you still have energy, you need to go ahead and confess that right now today. Do not wait till it's too late. Because you never know. Tomorrow's not promised to you. Next week is not promised to you. Next month is not promised to you. Next year is not promised to you. Right now is the day to ask Jesus to come into your life. Let him fill you with the Holy Spirit. I'm telling you, my sisters, my brothers, there's a lot of people dead and gone. They wish they had that one second back just to ask that one question. Just don't wait till it's too late. 
And I believe right now today somebody's boldly confessing that. And I just want to say amen to you, my sisters. I want to say amen to you, my brother. God is good all the time. And all the time, God is good. Always trust him. Always trust him. Always rely on him. He will not give up on you. Even though I know it seems seem like you'll never get to where you need to get at. Trust me. I know that I'm, I'm in the same situation, my brothers and my sisters. But every day I'm relying on him. Every day I'm trusting him. No matter what the situation or the circumstances look like. I serve a God that's awesome. He ran the whole world. He ran the whole show. Everything belonged to him. Everything. And once you know that, that everything in the world belonged to him, Exodus 19.5 tell you everything belonged to me. Once you know that, you know that God always have your back. No matter what. He got to prepare you for what he's doing. He got to prepare you where he's guiding you and directing you to. So when you get there, you're going to be strong. That you're going to have everything that you need and more. So that's why most of us right now are going through what we're going through right now. But in the midst of all that, continue to praise him. Continue to seek him. Continue to rely on him. And continue to put your faith and trust in Jesus. Amen. Amen. Glory. Hallelujah. My brothers, my sisters, I have an amazing, amazing word today. This word today is going to hit somebody's spirit today because some people need to hear this today. And we're going to be reading from the book of Hebrews, chapter 10, verse 25. That's Hebrews 10, verse 25. And today's word is continue your meeting with Jesus. Some of y'all continue your meeting with Jesus, but some of y'all is really not meet with Jesus. Some of y'all want to meet with Jesus when it's convenient to you. And you're wrong. Continue, continue to always have your everyday meeting with Jesus. That's the only way that you're going to see change. That's the only way you're going to see your blessing. That's the only way you're going to see things that's going to happen in your life. You got to always continue your meeting with Jesus. Amen? Amen. And before we get started, I always like to take the time out to give out him the Father God all the thanks, all the praise, and all the glory. All him the Father God, I just can't thank you enough for an awesome and beautiful, blessed day today. I just can't thank you enough for another day of life today. I just can't thank you enough for our strength today. I just can't thank you enough for our health today. I just can't thank you enough for our voice today. I just can't thank you enough for our hearing today. I just can't thank you enough for our daily meeting that we have with each other each and every day. I just can't thank you enough for your grace and your mercy on him the Father God. I just can't thank you enough for your blessing. I just can't thank you enough for the open doors. I just can't thank you enough for the abundance of rain that's headed our way. I just can't think of for our financial breakthrough. I just can't think of for the air that we're able to breathe today. I just can't think of for the food that you put on our table today, oh God. I just can't think of for the clothes and shoes that you put on our back today. I just can't think of how you provide it. I just can't think of how you making the way. I just can't think of our strength. I just can't think you know I'm able to sing you today. I just can't thank you enough, Jesus. 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 I just can't thank you enough. Jesus. I just can't thank you enough, Jesus. I just can't thank you enough. That's why I praise you the way I do, Jesus, because I can't thank you enough. That's why I worship you the way I do, Jesus, because I can't thank you enough. That's why I glorify you the way I do, Jesus, because I can't thank you enough. That's why I'm always relying on you the way I do, Jesus, because I can't thank you enough. That's why I'm always putting my faith and my trust in you each and every day, because I can't thank you enough. I can't thank enough for your words, Jesus. I can't thank enough for your promises, Jesus. I just can't thank enough for your love. I just can't thank enough for your forgiveness. I just can't thank enough for your faithfulness. I just can't thank you enough, Jesus. I just can't thank you enough. Glory, hallelujah. I just can't thank you enough. I just can't thank you enough, Jesus. I just can't thank enough for this word we're about to receive today. I just can't thank enough for this meeting that we have each and every day. I just can't thank you enough how you open up the class for us today, Jesus. I just can't thank you enough. I just can't thank you enough, Jesus. I just can't thank you enough, Jesus. I just can't thank you enough. I just can't thank you enough. I just can't thank you enough, Jesus. I just can't thank you enough. In Jesus' mighty holy name, amen. Amen. Now, my brothers and sisters, we're about to get into this word. I would love for y'all to turn your Bibles to Hebrews chapter 10, and we're going to read verse 25. And if you have your Bibles open and ready to receive it, shout out amen. Again, it's Hebrews chapter 10, and we're going to read verses 25. Amen. Let's begin. Let us not give up meeting together, as some are in the habit of doing. But let us encourage one another and all the more as you see the day approaching. 
Let us not give up meeting together. Every day when Jesus wakes you up, when he blows life inside of your body, air in your lungs, he gives you your health and gives you your strength. Right then and there, you should have a daily, daily meeting with Jesus at the very moment. There should be no excuse why none of y'all should have a daily meeting with Jesus. A daily meeting with Jesus should be necessary. But some of y'all don't like to meet with Jesus. Some of y'all only want to meet with Jesus when it's convenient for you. Some of y'all only want to want to have a meeting with Jesus when you're going through something, when you need something, when you're asking for something. And soon Jesus give it to you, you cut your meeting off. Some of y'all have a daily meeting with Facebook and Instagram more than you have with Jesus. Now, don't you? I'm just keeping it real with you. Soon that phone go off, you checking it. Oh, I got to check my email. You have to meet with that. Oh, I got to see who's sending me a friend request. You have to meet with that. Oh, I got to see who, oh, what's going on in the world. You have to meet with that. But you won't have a meet for the man who mean the most to you. And his name is Jesus. When you have a continued daily basis, meet with Jesus on a daily basis, he's going to show you things. He's going to speak to you. That's why some of y'all are missing on your blessing. That's why some of y'all are missing on opportunity. That's why some of y'all haven't seen or heard anything from Jesus because you don't want to have a meeting with him. But soon as something happens, soon as something happens, that's when you want to have a meeting with Jesus. No, my sisters. No, my brothers. Every day should be a meeting with Jesus. Every day. And my point is today, I want to encourage every last one of y'all today, Start having a daily meeting with Jesus. Continue that meeting. Just don't say, well, I had to meet with him for a year or I had a meeting for a couple of months. No. As long as he gives you life, every day is a continual meeting with Jesus. Every day. Not some days. Not half of a day. Not when you feel like it. Not when it's convenient for you. But you need to have a continual meeting with Jesus every single day. The word of God says this. Let us... Let us not give up meeting together. Hmm. As some are in the habit of doing. But let us encourage one another. I'm encouraging you right now today. I'm encouraging you right now today. If nobody ever encouraged you, if no other pastor ever encouraged you, no other reverend, bishop, minister, rabbi, whatever it is, minister LT right now today. It's encouraging every last one of my brothers and my sisters right now today. Continue, continue, continue to have your daily meeting with Jesus. I love my daily meeting with Jesus every day. I love to talk to him. I love to spend time with him. He's going to tell me things. He tell me what I need to do, what I need to minister on. He tell me what I need to open my eyes on. That's why I love my, my meeting with Jesus because he's faithful. That's why some of y'all haven't seen anything yet. You got to continue that meeting with Jesus. Put that Facebook down. Facebook can't get you nowhere. Put Instagram down. Instagram can't guide you or direct you nowhere. Every time y'all have a, a meeting with that TV station and that phone, then more than you do with Jesus. Amen? Amen. And that's my whole point of this message today. Continue that meeting with Jesus. Because when you continue to meet with Jesus, that when Jesus knows, you know what? I know got my son coming. I know my daughter coming. And the reason why that Jesus knows his son and daughter coming, because you have a meet with him every day. He knows when you're coming. He knows when you're coming. When Jesus knows you're coming, that means that you don't build a personal relationship. That you, y'all meet up at the same time. If you meet up at the same time, the same place, he knows when his children are coming. Sometimes Jesus like, you know what? Oh, here got my son and my daughter. All the time they want to come talk to me when they in need of something. Or they want something from me and don't need does it every time. He do it every time. But my brother, my sister, you got to stop this meeting with Jesus when it's convenient for you. You got to stop, stop, stop that. Stop meeting with Jesus when it's convenient for you. Amen? Amen. I don't know who I'm talking to, but I'm just keeping it real with you. Because at one point in time in my life, I was just like some of y'all. The only time I wanted to meet with Jesus, when I was in need of something, when I, when I was going through something. And as soon as he gave it to me, what I do? <laughs> Took up like the road wrong. I got tired of it. And the reason why I got tired of it, because it wasn't fair to him. 
It wasn't fair to him regardless. He ain't going to turn me down. He said, even though through my imperfection, they still would love me, still treat me the same. But I looked at it like I was taking advantage of him. I got tired of taking advantage of him. My sister, my brother, you should get tired of taking advantage of Jesus. We all need him. I don't care who you are. We all need Jesus. So if you know you need Jesus and you know that you love Jesus and you trust in him, relying on him, continue your relationship with him. Continue that habit. Continue that meeting every day. Continue that meeting in the morning. Continue that meeting in the afternoon. Continue that meeting at nighttime. Continue that meeting while you're at work, at the gym, at the grocery store, wherever it may be, or in your car. Continue, continue, continue your meeting with Jesus. Let me continue talking to him. Continue how they build that habit. Praying. Open up your Bible. Speaking in tongues, that's what I mean by that continue that meeting with Jesus. Because when you continue your meeting with Jesus, that's when life will come more easier. Then Jesus can be able to talk to you. He can be able to guide you in your meeting. He can be able to direct you in your meeting. He can bless you in your meeting. He can heal you in your meeting. He can deliver you in your meeting. He can do a lot of things in that meeting. But the only way that Jesus can give you these things and do these things, you got to continue your meeting with him. Quit meeting with Facebook all the time. Quit, meet, quit meeting with Snapchat all the time. Quit meeting with Instagram all the time. Quit meeting with gossip all the time. Quit meeting with TV all the time. Quit meeting with radio all the time. Quit meeting with your friends all the time. Quit meeting with naysayers all the time. Quit meeting with haters all the time. And start meeting with Jesus. That's what you need to meet with. When you're going through something, meet with Jesus. When you're in need of something, meet with Jesus. When you want something, meet with Jesus. You need help, meet with Jesus. You need wisdom, need knowledge, meet with Jesus. You need guidance, you need direction, meet with Jesus. You need healing, meet with Jesus. You need anointing, meet with Jesus. You need your deliverance, meet with Jesus. You need help in any kind of way, meet with Jesus. You need your bills paid, meet with Jesus. You want your dreams to come to true, meet with Jesus. You need help, meet with Jesus. You need a husband, meet with Jesus. You need a wife, meet with Jesus. You need children, meet with Jesus. You need a financial break, meet with Jesus. That's the only way that you're going to get it. You got to continue to meet with Jesus. You got to know, you got to let him know what's going on. You got to know, let him know how you feel. You got to let him know what you're thinking about. You got to let him know what you're trusting him for. You got to let him know what you're relying on him for. You got to let him know. And for you to know that, you got to continue to meet with Jesus on a daily basis. So he can say, you know what? My son and my daughter been meeting with me on a daily basis. They've been crying out to me. I know what they want. But I'm going to give them a little bit more because they've been meeting with me on a daily basis. I know when they're coming in here. I know their footsteps. I know they sound on their breath because we have this meeting every day. I know my son and my daughter hard because we have this meeting every day. Let Jesus get to know you and you get to know him. The only way that he's going to be able to get to know you and you get to know him, you have to be on a daily meeting every day. The meeting had to be a continuous thing. Not on and off. He's not a seesaw. He's not a Nintendo game that you can pick up and play and throw down when you want to. He ain't no iPhone that you can pick up every 30 seconds to look who, who, who missing you. He is Jesus. That's who he is. He's King of King and Lord of Lords. He is my everything. Stop treating Jesus like he a doormat. And start treating him who he really is. He is the Prince of Peace. Jehovah Jireh. My Prince. My, my Provider. He is my healer. He is my giver. He is my everything. He is your everything. He is your prince of peace. He is your healer. He is your deliverer. He is your everything. Jesus ain't no video game. That you can put a video game every time when you get tired of putting one in. Huh? Jesus ain't one of your homeboys and your homegirl whenever you want to kick it with him. That's when you want to kick it with him. No. He deserve a meeting. He deserves a meeting every day. So I don't know who I'm talking to right now. My point is, before I close, continue your meeting with Jesus. If you want to see results, if you want to see results, if you want to see your healing, if you want to see your anointing, if you want to see your deliverance, if you want to see your breakthrough, if you want to see your miracle, if you want to see your blessing, continue to meet with Jesus and watch what Jesus do for you. Let us not give up meeting together. As some are in the habit of doing. Some of y'all got a habit. Some of y'all got a bad habit. A serious habit. Of doing that. But continue your habit. And meet with Jesus. You know exactly who you are. 
And if you're doing that, encourage somebody right now today. Say, my, my brother, my sister, I don't know how your habit is with Jesus, but if you don't have the habit of speaking to him on a daily basis, start speaking to him on a daily basis. Start praying on a daily basis. Start opening up your Bible on a daily basis. Continue your habit and your, and your communication with Jesus. Amen? Amen. And I hope that this message and this video really helps somebody today. But I just want to encourage every last one of my sisters, my brothers. And like I said before, at one point in my life before I came to minister, I was just like y'all. The only time I wanted to play with Jesus when I felt like it. I was treating Jesus like a doormat. I was treating Jesus like a video game. But I got tired of it because he don't deserve that. He's not a video game. He's not a doormat. He ain't my homeboy. He ain't nobody. He ain't none of my co-worker. He ain't my cousin. He ain't my uncle. He is my father. I had to start treating him as he's my father. That's why I continue my habit with him. That's why I continue my praying with him. That's why I continue my worshiping with him. That's why I continue my giving and loving and trusting him, relying on him each and every day. I have a habit of meeting with Jesus on a daily basis. I have a habit by praising. I have a habit by glorifying. I have a habit by trusting him. I have a habit by relying on him. I have a habit by reading the word of God every day. I have a habit with Jesus because I'm in love with him. I'm addicted to him. That's why I have a habit. You should have that same habit too as well. Amen? Amen. And before I close, I would like to end with a prayer. Can you please pray with me? Lord Jesus, I ask of you to come into my life to guide us, direct us, use us so we can continue to build a relationship with you. And I believe right now in the mighty name of Jesus, but I was praying this simple little prayer that God is already working everything God in my life right now. And if you ever want to get in contact with me or leave me a comment, my YouTube channel is with us, dot LT. Always keep Jesus first place. Always seek Him. Always pray Him. Always worship Him. And always, always, always continue your meeting with Jesus. Always continue your meeting with Jesus on a daily basis. This is Minister LT. I love y'all. Stay blessed. And always keep Jesus first place. Amen.